today's video and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a scholarship opportunity in netherlands before we start kindly hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any updates we are looking at the maastricht university master's scholarship and these are the benefits it is fully funded it's worth 30,000 euro per year it covers your living allowance it covers your training costs as well as your visa costs last but not least it's open to all international students we are on the official website you guys can read the information at the top but the first thing you really want to do is look at who is eligible so click the hyperlink or simply scroll down number one eligibility you hold nationality in a country outside the eu or eea two you do not hold a double nationality from an eu or eea country three you have applied for admission to a participating full-time master program at this university for the period of 2024 to 2025, right? Next, you meet the specific admission requirements of the UM master program. You have never participated in a degree-seeking higher education program in the Netherlands. Now, students who've completed an exchange program are welcome to apply you are not older than 35 years of age by 1st september 2024 and you have obtained excellent results these are the basic requirements next costs and other info all right so now we are going to look at the duration of the nl high potential scholarship so you've got an option the first one is 13 months for a one-year master program the second one is 25 months for a two-year master program so it's totally up to you which program you want to choose um, depending of course on what you want to study now we are going to look at the amount of the nl high potential scholarship 24 to 2025 now basically um you do have a table here that clearly indicates how the costs will be allocated and how different expenditures will be paid for so we'll see um, how each one works now living expenses are calculated at twelve thousand three hundred and fifty euros for 13 months or twenty three thousand seven hundred and fifty for 25 months so it depends on the duration of your course right now these amounts are paid to students by the um international services desk right next we look at the health and liability insurance as 700 euros that is covered and it's arranged for and paid by the um international services desk as well and then um the next one we're looking at is the visa application costs now this is also covered and they pay 210 euros for it and it's arranged by the um international services desk right tuition fees is stated at cost which means that your tuition amount will depend on the cost that you select and it is also actually arranged for and paid by the um international services desks and your pre-academic training costs are also covered and the amount depends on the course which you select and likewise also arranged by the international services desk so you don't need to worry about any of this now the next thing we want to look at is that these amounts are subject to change so please be um, cautious of that and then the next thing we want to look at which is very important is then the application procedure all right so basically what we're going to look at now is the application procedure i know a lot of students do hesitate to apply for scholarships because they are often confused so i'm going to try to make these steps for you as easy as possible and go through all the important information so that you don't get confused now on the right hand side you basically have your basic process on how to apply which is step one and step two too. but this is just basically what you need to do to complete the application step one is to register for a master program via this link okay so you can basically go straight ahead and click this link here to apply for the program of your choice okay now once you are done with that you then go to step two step two basically says Fill out the application form. You need to log in with your UM account. This is the information provided. Okay. So 
how you'll actually be able to log i mean to fill out your form is first of all by completing step one because once you complete step one you will be given a student id and you need that id to basically continue the application procedure or process okay all right now if you go to the left hand side this is basically where the full details are about applying for the scholarship so these are the step-by-step -step procedure this is just straightforward for students who already know what to do or basically students who don't mind exploring they can just go to step one and then straight away go to step two but if you want to understand the process better then you need to come to the left hand side okay so we look at step one so step one is register for one of the participating master's program at um so you can click on this link now for further details on how to register for a master program at um please see your prospective programs web page you can also click here to see that right now once you have submitted your application via this link which is the link provided at step one you will then receive a student id number for um you will need a student number in order to complete and submit the scholarship application form see step two below so this is basically the step two that's listed here and it's also broken down into a simpler process here below all right now okay so we've understood that now so please note please note only the master programs on that list above right will be eligible so only the participating programs are eligible you cannot select any other program right then the other thing you should take note of is that you first have to apply for the master programs at um to receive your student id i've mentioned this now five or four times all right now once you have your student id you can apply for the scholarship all right however you must be conditionally approved for admission to your master program okay to receive the scholarship right and the last thing to take note of is if your study program requires the payment of a handling fee as part of your program's admissions procedure the um international services desk does not cover handling fees take note of that you guys all right now we are going to step two which is the final thing to do is to fill in the application form right you need to log in with your um account which is why you need to complete step one first okay right then the form is here you can basically click on this form and then you can just fill up all the information as required now below here is upload the following documents in docs or uh docx or pdf format all right they clearly stated there that's the format you're supposed to save your documents now what is needed is basically a curriculum vitae you need a letter of motivation proof of excellence or academic excellence right you can upload any of the following documents in order to prove your academic excellence now you can either upload your university transcript or a letter signed by your institution's head of department all right or registrar okay then you need a personal statement of financial needs please explain why you would benefit from being awarded a scholarship and describe your personal circumstances such as financial difficulty or sole parent caretaking responsibilities medical conditions etc or maybe if you're a refugee you can also state that right the next thing is the contact details of one of your referees okay the people that are referring you you need to provide a contact number okay let's assume i'm ready to apply so basically i want to click on where it says participating programs once i click there i'll actually be able to see a list of all the master's programs that are being offered but there's another way to do it you can also just click back and then click on programs web page on that hyperlink it will bring you to this page over here where you'll be able to see all the master's programs and basically 
you will have a list of different programs and you can just go through it and see which one is suitable for you. So let's say, for example, I want to apply for economics and financial research. So I'm going to click on this one and then I'll be able to basically see all the information about the course and whether it's actually suitable for me. Do I meet the eligibility criteria? Because on the left, you have, you've got all these things answered there, right? So you can just have a look at all that information. Once you're ready, go back to the home page and then go to step one. So you click on study link and it will basically load and bring you to the page where you're supposed to either log in or register. Now, since you don't have an account, you're going to click on create account. Once you get to that page, you will then be able to select your nationality. So, for example, I'm from Namibia, so I'm going to click on Namibia. Then I'm going to scan my passport or ID. Once I've completed all the steps on this page, I'll be given an ID number. This will then allow me to proceed with step two, which is filling up the application form. So this is what you need to do, you guys. And this brings us to the end of today's video. If you liked it, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And if you have any questions, do comment them below.